mtazamaji wa Channel 7 News TV Afrika Mashariki leo ni tarehe moja ya mwezi wa kumi mwaka 2023 Jumatano tulivu kabisa mbili na dakika 20 masaa ya Afrika ya Mashariki hii ni breakfast show ya Channel 7 News TV East Africa Niko na mtaalamu Emmanuel Bosire kwa kisha tunachambua na kudadis mambo kadha wa kadha kuhusiana na masuala mazima ya siasa nchini Kenya habari mbalimbali zinazojiri kitaifa na kimataifa lakini vile vile michezo pamoja na burudani kwa kiasi chake kidogo kabisa hivyo naweza nikasema lakini hapa eh, ukiwa ndani ya Channel 7 News TV utapata habari mbalimbali mbali. yani utazisikia habari mbalimbali mbali za kitaifa na kimataifa na vile vile eh, utapata kufahamu nini ambacho kinajiri leo tumezungumza na Emmanuel Bosire akasema tujaribu kuzungumza na wananchi tu ajuze yale ambayo yanajiri katika taifa letu hususan katika masuala mazima ya ule eh, tu, tu, tuite tuite umoja tuite uongozi tuite muungano tuite hiyo lakini hivyo ndivyo ambavyo tunajaribu kusema kwamba yale ambayo yanajiri katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa sasa kidogo yanatia gumzo na, 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 na yanaleta uh, uh, choko choko zile katika maeneo mbalimbali mbali ya ma, uh, ya mitaana katika taifa letu kwa jumla kwa hiyo tuko hapa na Emmanuel Uh, ku discuss na kuzungumza uh, lakini hapa kuna caption imeandikwa Ruto and Raila uh, secret handshake plan to overthrow Gachagua and finish Mount Kenya politically so hii imewekwa na mtaalamu wetu lakini hapa uh, tunatoa ruhusa tunatoa nafasi ya wewe kuandika jumbe yako ya wewe kuzungumza nasi live kabisa ukiwa kokote uh, ambako Eh, unatupata kokote ambako upo unatupata Afrika hata nje mipaka ya Afrika Kenya hata nje ya Kenya basi unaruhusiwa kuzungumza nasi live kabisa kupitia Channel 7 News TV East Africa Emmanuel unaendeleaje ndugu yangu muda mrefu kuliko hivyo mhm unafikiria <laughs> haya bwana karibu sana ndani ya Channel 7 News TV eh, na hivi ndivyo ambavyo tunaweza tukasema lakini tuko na taarifa mbalimbali za kitaifa na kimataifa. E, hapa moja kati ya taarifa ambayo inakuja kutoka katika magazeti mbalimbali ni kuhusiana mama wa taifa Avalia Mvazi bei ghali siku ya utamaduni. Tunamfahamu mama wa taifa ni nani? Tutakuja kuisoma hiyo taarifa lakini visa vya moto migomo vyaongezeka katika shule za Ganze mtihani wa KCSE e, ukichungulia lakini vile vile kuna taarifa Kenya kupoteza shilingi trilioni 4.2 tabia za ushoga zikizimwa. Hii taarifa tutaisoma pia kwa kina lakini barasa adai malala ni fuku la ODM ndani ya Kenya kwanza ataka nek ya UDA inpige kalamu. Hii taarifa pia ilikuwa siku ya jana. Kwa hiyo tutasoma hizi taarifa eh, za kitaifa na kimataifa vile vile taarifa kutoka katika kaunti mbalimbali na taarifa za michezo pamoja na burudani utasaro habari za kimataifa eh, droni ya nasa picha ya kuvutia kundi la kondoo wanaovuka barabara kuu nchini Marekani lakini kule Marekani Israel na Misri wajadili njia salama kwa watu wa Gaza na mzozo Israel na Hamas Israel yajibu mashambulizi ya Syria kwa ma, uh, mizinga lakini vile vile eh, kuna taarifa inasema makombora na bunduki ndani ya Gaza na Israel bado yanaendelea kutiririka na kububujika lakini Hamas ilianzisha vita hivi tukaimaliza mshauri mkuu wa Israel amesema kuwa lakini mzozo wa Israel na Hamas idadi ya wa Israel wale wawa imefika watu elfu moja mia mbili hiyo ni taarifa kutoka kule Israel na hii ni taarifa ya kimataifa kwa hiyo kusimu mtazamaji wa Channel 7 News TV East Africa kuungana nasi kusalia nasi kubaki nasi mwanzo mpaka mwisho lakini vile vile tuko na mada yetu ambayo tumeweza kuisoma hapo inayohusiana na masuala mazima ya uh, kuna tofauti unaonekana lakini kuna imano ile yeye anaweza kachambua kwa kina zaidi kwa sababu yeye ni mbobevu eh, wa masuala haya ya kisiasa hususan katika kuyaelezea kwa kina kuchambua kwa kina na kadhalika na kadhalika eh, ni kusini tu hivyo vumo endelee ku comment kupitia page yetu baada ya baadaye tunasoma comment ambazo zina 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 jiri kupitia Channel 7 News TV East Africa. Emmanuel, uh, kwa sasa naomba tuzungumze na baadhi ya wananchi hususan eh uh, mambo yanaonekana kwamba uh, au lipo tatizo ambalo linaonekana sehemu ya uh, uongozi au uh, kwenye uongozi wetu hususan nafasi ya Mheshimiwa Rais na makamu wake 
inaonekana kuna namna ya vuta ni kuvuti ambazo zinaonekana zinaendelea katika taifa letu la Kenya. Nini eh, neno lako hapa? Au upi eh, a, 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 yapi mazungumzo yako ambayo unaweza kutuambia sisi wananchi na tukapata tuka kidogo kuelewa na kufahamu nini ambacho kinajiri kwa sasa katika taifa letu la Kenya hususan katika uongozi huu mkuu nimeuliza nime je sio shida ya uongozi nimeuliza je lipo tatizo kwa rais na makamu wa rais lipo tatizo kwa rais na makamu wake swali hilo je lipo tatizo kwa rais na makamu wake maana tunaona vuta ni kuvuta hizo hapa na pale huyu akienda kule anazungumzia amani sijaona popote mheshimiwa rais akizungumza vibaya kuhusu mheshimiwa Gachagua hali kadhalika sijaona mheshimiwa Gachagua akizungumza vibaya kuhusu mheshimiwa rais lakini naona vuta ni kuvute ambazo hata baadhi ya wananchi wanahoji hata baadhi ya wataalamu wa mambo wanachambua na wanasema hapa huenda kuna japo Ndio ndio. Kuna njia nyingi ambazo zinaweza Na katika masuala ya kisiasa kuna vitu vingi ambazo zinaweza kuwa kwamba media ndio mara nyingi Tukalishudia kwa nani na nani?
I want to bring something out of you. I'm really trying to do What did you expect to have to say? Really, I think that what you expect to have to say was this that you have a wonderful gift of life and a wonderful gift of life. Please, can you share it with me? And this is Na, 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 na hapo hapo uh, umezungumza mengi sana na mazuri ambayo kwa kweli mtazamaji bila shaka na kuwa mubashara kabisa na sisi hapa Emmanuel kwa utulivu sana umezungumza kuhusiana na uenda uh, likawa tatizo umekili um, um, kwamba uh, possible inawezekana likawa lipo tatizo katika mfumo wa uongozi wa mheshimiwa rais umezungumza hivyo lakini umesema inawezekana uh, mheshimiwa rais anajaribu uh, kutaka kumuibua mtu mwingine kutoka centre si ndio eh umezungumza ruenda eh out of centre yes umesema out of centre inawezekana yupo mtu anataka kumuibua na bila shaka umemtaja mheshimiwa Musa Lemu Daba umesema ruenda akawa yeye una, 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 unaona mheshimiwa Aregavi Gachago kumaliza hii miaka eh, mitano ya kwanza maana naona ni mapema sana tunalo kwanza tunaingia kwenye mwaka wa pili wa utendaji mambo yanaanza kubadilika Mm. 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 nafasi ya rais kuweza kumwachisha kazi mm. makamu wake wakati wote. Ndio. Jinsi tulikuwa tukikurudia miaka ya nyuma. Mm. Kwa hivi sasa iwapo kama rais hamtaki ayo kama rais hamtaki mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua hana mm. jambo lolote la kufanya ila kumsubiri hadi waende tena uchaguzi mm. sababu katiba haimruhusu kumpiga nje hana other option kwa hivyo sure. lazima atakula yake pamoja muhula wa kwanza mm. pengine tutakapoingia 2026 campaign mm. zikianza za moto sasa mm za kutetea kitu mwaka 2027. Mm. Pengine akitaka pale sasa ndiye atamchagua mtu mwingine. Atasema kwamba mimi kama rais simtaki tena Rigathe kama rais wangu. 
mm. pengine namtaka msale mdavati mm. pengine namtaka uh, mtu yote yule ambaye ataka mtaji ndio wakati huo mm. kwa hivyo sehemu hii ya kwanza lazima watachapa miaka yote watamaliza yote pamoja na I, I, inaonekana kuna namna ambavyo inaendelea kwenye uongozi wa Udao Susan uh, baadhi ya viongozi kupisha na kauli lakini pia inaonekana hapa liko tatizo ambalo linapelekea mheshimiwa rais uh, na mheshimiwa makamu uonekane kama utendaji wa wakazi huko tofauti kama ulivyosema hapo inawezekana mambo yakawa tofauti mwaka au msimu wa pili sio sasa eh, hata kuja kuzungumza uh, kwa sasa naomba nizungumze na mwananchi ambaye anatufuatilia live kabisa kwa video channel 7 news tv east africa lakini vile vile kwa pasha na kwa juu za habari mbalimbali za kitaifa na kimataifa na baada hapo tutazungumza na wale wana 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 wananchi kwa upande eh, wa comments hali kadhalika lakini pia tutaangalia videos mbalimbali ambazo eh, tunazo hapa kupitia channel 7 news tv east africa anaitwa alex marwa anasema we are together tunamwambia karibu sana anaitwa fortnatus uh, wa fula anasema tuned live uh, kiti sura siasa e, wacha tuachie wana siasa bora ni hustle e, bora ni haso nipate mahitaji yangu i'm done sawa e, lakini eh huyu anaitwa Kim e, Kim Momenta anasema nothing will hinder it politics is a game within a game politics is a game within a game anasema hivyo Kim e, Momenta lakini Elijah Mbugu anasema hizi ni propaganda tu acheni chini propaganda wana siasa haya nakwambia siasa na fitina vita koma Kenya hivi karibuni sana amesema hivyo anaitwa Lobe Jafet lakini pile vile eh, pita Moguche eh, Moguche anasema it's okay lakini Ezra Tarusa anasema i believe Gachagua is not Mount Kenya and many Mount Kenyan leaders oppose him as their leader it's just they are not talking in public sawa lakini anaitwa Cassandra Cassandra Royo anasema from the mountain uh, support let them overthrow him let them overthrow him sawa hizo na zingine nyingi uh, anaitwa Tom Gombe anasema siasa ni kuchezwa na kuchezeana hii dhana eti watu wa mlima wako na haki kuliko Kenya wengine ndio shimo la kuchimba hao wenyewe ndio ni shimo ambalo wanalichimba wao wenyewe anazungumza hivyo anaitwa nani anaitwa Tom Gombe anasema maneno haya kwa hiyo hizo na taarifa zingine nyingi tunazo na tunazidi kwa juza na nikusihini tu hivyo kuendelea ku comment mambo si mambo mambo yatakuwa mambo baada ya tuwe ku comment na mambo yataendelea hivyo na hizo taarifa inasema mama wa taifa avalia mavazi ya bei gharama eh, hii ni taarifa ambayo inapatikana eh katika gazeti la taifa leo nakwambia mama wa taifa avalia mavazi ya bei ghali siku ya utamaduni taarifa hii inasema sherehe za kitaifa za siku kuu ya utamaduni eh, ambayo ilifanyika eh, siku ya jana eh, Jumane Oktoba 10 mwaka 2023 katika ukumbi wa Bomas of Kenya na mama wa taifa Rachel Ruto ndiye amekuwa mgeni wa heshima alimwakilisha rais William Ruto ambaye wakati huu yuko nchini Uganda kwa ziara rasmi lakini mama Recho alikuwa amevalia nguo ya kijani kibichi yenye virembesho vya maua eh vilivyofikia sherehe hizo lakini aidha uh, alikuwa amevalia mshipi wa kipekee wa bei ghali chapa Valentino Gravan belt wenye alama ya V na rangi ya dhahabu lakini vile vile kulingana na tovuti moja ya kuuza bidhaa mshipi huo ambao mama Recho alikuwa ameuvalia basi eh, mshipi huo umeonyeshwa kuuzwa shilingi 1085 za kikenya so, shilingi za kikenya 1085 mshipi tuo lakini takumbuko kwamba mnamo agast 2023 rais william ruto alizuru uganda kwa mkutano wa rais yoer museven eh, lakini dr ruto alisema mazungumzo yake na mheshimiwa eh, yoer kaguta museven eh, yalihusu masuala yenye manufaa kwa kenya na Uganda pia kiwemo biashara usalama pamoja na kilimo lakini vile vile rais alikuwa amevalia suti nadhifu za kaunda ambaye alivutia hisia za wakenya wengi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii walipoona picha hizo zilizotolewa na ikulu na kusambazwa katika vyombo mbalimbali vya habari basi mkenya mmoja kwenye mtandao wa Twitter 
kwa maana ya mtandao wa X alisema kuwa sasa yuko mkononi na viatu ambavyo Dr. William Bruto alivaa ni vya bei ya juu zaidi. Alibainika alikuwa amevalia saa chapa ya L range one moon Ferris watch ambayo bei yake ni kati ya shilingi milioni tano hadi shilingi milioni mbili kulingana na sifa za saa hiyo husika lakini aidha mheshimiwa rais Ruto alikuwa amevalia jozi ya viatu vya thamani ya shilingi laki moja na ishirini na nane alf lakini vile vile mwezi Septemba wakati wa kisa ambapo nguvu za umeme zilipotea kote nchini na mitambo ya kuzalisha umeme mbadala katika uwanja wa kimataifa wa ndege wa Jomo Kenyatta JKIA kufeli kufanya kazi wazee uchukuzi Kipchumba Murkome alikuwa uwanjani humo kukagua hali akiwa amevalia jozi ya viatu vilivyokadiriwa kuwa ya thamani ya shilingi laki moja na alfu tatu sasa taarifa hii eh, inazungumza in, in, in siku ya utamaduni siku ya jana ambayo tarehe kumi mwezi wa kumi alfu mbili na ishirini tatu eh, eh, mashughuli haya yalifanyika katika ukumbi wa bomas lakini vile vile tulimona mama uh, wa taifa kwa maana ya mama Rachel Ruto eh, katika hafla hiyo lakini vile vile eh, eh, unaweza kupata kuziona picha za mama Rachel Ruto hapo kupitia ukurasa wetu eh, namna hiyo nguo ya kijani kibichi hapo katikati bila shaka kupata kumuona mama lakini hiyo uh, m, uh, mkanda wa unaweza kuita mshipi eh, wanaozungumzia ndio huu hapo ambao umewekwa hapo lakini vile vile eh, unapata kumuona mama Rachel Ruto alipendezeshwa na mavazi asilia Eh unaweza kuona jamii ya kimasai wanavaa hizo nguo na kadhalika na kadhalika lakini hayo yote yanajiri na baada tu ya kuzungumza eh katika masuala mazima ya siku ya utamaduni na siku ya jana pia nilipata kumuona mheshimiwa uh, eh uh, uh, nani alikuwa mheshimiwa Waziri Moses Kule eh alikuwepo pale siku ya jana lakini pia mama Rachel Ruto alikuwa pale sasa hii eh, pia ilijenga ili hoja kwa baadhi ya watu na wataalamu wa mambo Uh, niko na Emmanuel hapa kwa kisha tunachambua mambo kadha wa kadha tunaulizana maswali mawili matatu yale wanaojiri eh, mtaani wanaohoji mtaani ndio tunayauliza hapa kwa wataalamu wetu eh, mara kadhaa kwa hiyo hili swali pia nilikutana nalo siku ya jana na tukaona lazima tuje kulizungumza na mtaalamu atakayekuepo hapa asubuhi Emmanuel yuko hapa kuweza kunijibu baadhi ya maswali Emmanuel uh, tunapata kushuhudia baadhi ya watu walisema kuwa kero au fununu au minongono ya baadhi ya viongozi wawili katika taifa letu hususan mheshimiwa Moses Kuria pamoja na makamu wa rais mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua yalianza pale tu baada ya mheshimiwa Moses Kuria kutoa matamko kwa wananchi baada ya wananchi kupokea matamko kutoka kwa mheshimiwa Moses Kuria juu ya mafuta kwamba kachimbeni kisima benu wenyewe eh mheshimiwa ma, uh, makamu wa rais ikaonekana kuna namna ambavyo ameweza kucomment au ameweza kutoa hoja kwenye hilo kwamba mheshimiwa waziri anapaswa kuomba radhi wananchi juu ya swala hilo kwa sababu haya yote ni ni ni, 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 ni haya ni maneno tu na inawezekana ikawa hivyo lakini pia mheshimiwa makamu rais alisema huyu ni kijana wetu hatuwezi kufanya chochote ambacho kibaya kwa kijana wetu lakini baada ya pale kunaonekana na sintofahamu ya e, maneno ya huku na huku baadhi ya watu wanazungumza hivi baadhi ya watu wanazungumza hivi kwanza tuje hapo kuna tofauti eh ya 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 ya, ya maelewano baina ya mheshimiwa Moses Kuria na mheshimiwa makamu rais Rigathi Gachagua uko pande wako <coughs> ah ni sema kwamba naam kuna kuna tofauti ndio kwa sababu siasa ndivyo ilivyo mm. uh, politics about differences in interest na pengine anayewasababisha kuwa na hizi tofauti Mm. Kwa hawa ni ndugu mama. Mhm. Kwa maeneo mengi. Mhm. Baba mmoja, mama mmoja, makini. Rais amesifa pingili. Uh, ukiangalia vizuri na ukiangalia siasa ya mheshimiwa William Ruto ni hakuna kuvunja nini kidogo. Kuvunja kumaanisha kwamba kuharibu rafiki ule pamoja wa mlima Kenya. The unit of mlima Kenya ukitai vunja kitambo waende kujipanga tena wakuja na unit utaongoza miaka yako kumi na pengine umeenda kitambo mm. <laughs> sorry 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 msingi hapa kuna swali moja la msingi 
kwa nini ionekane mheshimiwa rais awe na sababu ya, uh, ya, ya tofauti za hawa viongozi kwa nini mheshimiwa rais awe sababu lakini swali la pili unadhani kwa nini uh, kaudi yako kuvunja uh, mheshimiwa rais kuvunja mlima Kenya unadhani kwa nini mheshimiwa rais awe na sababu za kuvunja maelewano ile unit ya mlima Kenya uh, uh, nisema kwamba mlima Kenya umesikianga huwa uh, uh, unasikia ma imesemekana kila place ya kwamba bila mlima Kenya hawezi kuwa kiongozi. Na pengine hiyo ndiyo dhani ambao mheshimiwa William Ruto anataka sana kuifunga. Sababu these are two communities, two large communities. And from political theories for you to get 50% plus one vote to make you to be a president, you need two popular regions. So that's why he took advantage and they have been taking advantage of central region and Rift Valley. So when you combine the two popular Central and Rift Valley, and get one minority, maybe Kambani region, maybe Coast region, maybe Northeastern, and maybe uh, wherever, maybe Nyanza. So it will help you in a kuwezesha wewe kupata ili asilimia msini na kura moja juu yake, kuwezesha kuwa rais. Kile ambacho mwishimu wa Ruth anajaribu kukufanya kwa mba avunje mlima Kenya, haitawanyi. You know, anatumia divide and rule. Kama ujaelewa mfumo uongozo mheshimiwa William Ruto. Mm-hmm. So by dividing them you want to make sure that they don't sit on the same podium as mm-hmm. a region. So after dividing them he is able to penetrate. Na pengine niende nitiende mbali. Nimesema mara nyingi sana. Na huenda tutufungua roho ya mheshimiwa William Ruto. Huenda naibu William Ruto si vilevile. kifungua roho ya mheshimiwa William Ruto. Huenda tukapata kwamba running mate wake si ricardo ya sasa. Hata kabla ya uchaguzi. Hapo mm. anakagadi ya sasa. You know they took more than 25 hours to decide who is the running. So William Ruto never had ricardo ya sasa in head in mind. So he had kizore kidiki for your information. And other leaders. Mm when Rigathi realized that he is going to be sovereign, you know, he had invested a lot. Uh, Rigathi invested a lot of money in UDP. Akanzisha Hustra Center. He was mobilizing all over the country. He used a lot of money to make sure that he was running it. Mm. So when, uh, when, when, when President Taramondia Kamba, you have someone in mind, they give me my billion. Give me my billion. Take half of my money. So it was a war that took long down this one you have to go uh, for regarding a shago and maybe now most school here for keeping on and they get see most school of the and we need to understand the role of most school in politics most school here is someone who will test water come on who will test my come on a change in English ya ikinyo fans unatuma mtu flani hmm? unampa mwingine anambia ebu test hiyo maji kwa aje so what the president is using is only using his political friends Moses Kuria to come and do what he wants so when Moses Kuria alipokuwa akisema chumba vipimo vya and then he regarded coming and saying that's a bad statement and then we see another politicians rectifying the the, the statement of regarded about um, the shareholder because they said that this country this government is like a company if you don't have shares you need to sue them and then we've seen the likes of Silvano most of Korea leaving the money in the and even the president himself coming out and saying that we don't want this business and this conversation that's rotating around us about shareholders so uh, in brief what I can say is that uh, the war between uh, regarding the and most of Korea is not uh, a small war that we can say it only lies among those two. Mm. But it's a broad way that lies now behind the people of Mount Kenya. They have been divided. They have been picked. Now who, and there's no smart politician as that now. Mwenye za shinda mwishimu wa William Ruto. Zani. Hakuna. We are smart. Sababu. Pande zote mbili za uongozi tawala na upizani. Amna. Huoni. Sioni.
Haya niko na Emmanuel hapa kwa kisha mambo yanaenda vizuri lakini tunapozungumzia namna ambavyo eh, mambo yanaendelea huko uh, au vitu vita zinaendelea huko eh, tu, 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 tupate kuona namna ambavyo eh, tu, tuanze na ipi producer maana kuna zote hapa zina msimu shiba gachaka hiyo tutakayoanza nayo basi tuanze nayo tuanze na hiyo ya kwanza kabisa iwacha ruto apambane huko tutakutana eh, katikati ah tumeanza leo eh E, kama ni leo basi tuanze hiyo wakikuu wote tuko nyuma na si ndio eh e, kuna baadhi ya viongozi kule katika uh, katika mlima kule na baadhi ya maeneo e, wa, wa, wakikuyu wanaonekana wako pamoja na mheshimiwa wa makamu wa rais lakini vile vile wanaonekana wako pamoja na mheshimiwa wa rais kwa hiyo wanasema pia ni maneno tu baadhi ya watu wanajaribu kuzusha e, ya ya ya, ya weze kuonekana kwamba kama kuna tofauti hivi kati ya mheshimiwa rais na makamu wake lakini wao wako pamoja E, na mambo yanaenda vizuri na mambo yanaenda sawa tu. Kwa hiyo tuwasikilize uh, baadhi ya viongozi hao kutoka maeneo ya mlima huko. E, wanazungumza nini juu ya mheshimiwa makamu wa rais na hii hapa e, video ambayo inaonyesha hao baadhi ya viongozi. Karibu sana mtazamaji wa Chance Seven News TV East Africa. Hata za people sisi wote tuko nyuma ya regathe gachagua and there are no two ways about that. Na kama community because I believe I'm an elder in this community. Nikiwa chairman wa magava na wote kumi wa mlima kuanzia Meru, kwenda Nakuru, kwenda Embu, kuteremka Laikipia, kuja Nyeri, Moranga, Kiambu na Kirenyaga iko hapa. We want to say in a very specific way that we are solidly behind President Dr. William Samoi Ruto wakiwa na dr ame wakiwa na mheshimiwa regathe gachagua we can see a joint ticket na tuko pale na hatutaki tuambiwe vitu vingine you can say this you can say that you can say whatever you say but the point remains kama sisi kama taifa tungetaka kuendelea it is important that we work together tuwe na amani tuendelee na tuhakikishe pengine mnaweza fikiria wale wanafikiria pe, uh, regathe gachagua hakutosha kwenda kuwa deputy president sijui mlikuwa mnaangalia nini ni urefu ni weusi ni yellow ama ni nini but the fact remains we must support our deputy president in every way hey, you know fact ya watu kutoka kule maeneo ya mlima wanakuambia wao fact yao ni kwamba watam support team mheshimiwa regathe gachagua kwa namna yoyote si ndio eh E, ikionekana kwamba uh, e, namna ambavyo watu wanasema juu ya mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua wanavojaji wao basi waendelee kujaji hivyo wanavojaji kama wanajaji weusi urefu nini anazungumza kiongozi yule pale eh? kama wanajaji weusi urefu nini basi hivi watajua wao lakini wao hususan wanataka kufanya ni kusupport katika namna yoyote mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua awe pale juu na mheshimiwa uh, rais Ruto lakini kuna maneno ameyazungumza ndugu yangu Emmanuel au watu wanawezekana kwa wanapenda vitu ambavyo havijapendwa au havipo mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua aonekane kusapotiwa na baadhi ya watu lakini mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua mwenyewe inawezekana hayupo moyoni kwa mheshimiwa rais haya ni maoni tu ya Emmanuel ameatoa tu hivyo kama maoni uh, ma, bado tuna, tuna, tunaona kweli inawezekana haya yasemwayo hapo na kama hayapo naenda kuja kuna baadhi ya watu Emmanuel wameleta wame, wame comment nyingi sana baada ya mheshimiwa rais Eh, ku, 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 kufanya mabadiliko katika uongozi ule katika masuala mazima ya eh, ngazi ya waziri si ndio eh tumepata kuona mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua eh, yupo bado kwenye lele idara yake lakini tumepata kuona mheshimiwa Musalia Mudavad kuongezewa majukumu ya kazi hii ina ina, ina, ina mwaka kiongozi au hii inamchoshia hadhi kiongozi ambaye kama makamu rais kubaki katika hadhi yake lakini kiongozi mwingine kupandishwa eh ngazi ya juu zaidi mm niseme kwamba hakuna kuongezewa kazi. Mm. Uh, ndio nasema kwamba lazima tuangalie pande zote mbili. Mhm. Ndio kwamba kazi hii ambayo alikuwa nayo ya se, prime cabinet secretary. Ndio. Haipo popote katika katiba yetu ya Kenya. Na kuna wa Kenya ambao wamechukua kesi kotini kupinga Musale Mdavadi kuwa kiongozi. Mm. Kwa hiyo mshahara nao upokea. Unatokea wapi na umepatikana wapi katika katiba. Na pengine mheshimiwa William Ruto alipiga hesabu akaona huenda uh, chuo hiki ambacho yeye msali ambacho ilikuwa nacho cha prime cabinet secretary huenda kikatupiliwa mbali na kikosi 
na koti takapopiga marufuku kiti hichi cha prime cabinet secretary uh, ita mruhusu um, Salem Davidi kubaki katika kiki kingine cha foreign affairs kwa hivyo atakapobaki katika foreign affairs atakuwa associated la compared na angebaki na prime cabinet secretary iki kiti ambacho tena ki, ki, ki kesi iko kotini koti kaweza kupiga marufuku na uh, ikawe ana tena nafasi hiyo kwa hivyo pengine nafasi ambayo mheshimiwa William Ruto alipiga hesabu na mapema ili upewe kazi ni mara mbili muna wacha ni kuuliza swali niulize swali kuna wa Kenya ambao wana kazi ha? lakini mwingine hakuna kazi mbili mhm hiyo ni nini Ah mkenya si ana kazi na wengine ana kazi mbili hiyo sio nzuri hiyo ni dhulumu kwa mkenya ambaye ana kazi <laughs> kwa sababu hiyo ni sawa tuna kusema kuna mwingine anatembea uchi mwingine ana nguo pia ta ah is not fair for sure so when you find uh, kuna watu wengi ambao mheshimiwa William Ruto hajawapa kazi mm. kuna rafiki wake wengi sana wamsaidia katika kampeni mm. wanahangaika na wajapata kazi na pengine angewapa mmoja wao kazi hiyo ngempa mmoja wa kazi hiyo ya maybe foreign affairs lakini anapoangalia na kumuongeza mheshimiwa Mzali Mdavadi Mzali Mdavadi si eti ni jambo la likutumbavu ni hesabu ambayo ameweza kuipika vizuri ili kaweze kuingiana na jibu lile ambalo anatarajia mm. um, mfano kwamba kuna wa Kenya wengi ambao wamekuwa kilalamika kwamba kazi ya Mzali ni nini mm. na kiukweli kazi yake ni nini haiko popote katika kitatibu na ndio maana umeona wakijaribu ku kuma pale by partisan talk ili tuwe na amendment of the constitution so that that seat can be created together with the official opposition seat so when you find out that the decisions are not going to happen any soon you have to go for plan b and for plan b for uruto as i can see from where i'm seated uh, is uh, he added it to mtalem david the foreign affair uh, ministry so that by any chance hi ya prime cabinet itakapogongwa nje na koti msale mdavadi awe sorted mm. awe sorted kwamba hii imetoka sasa baki na imo moja na imoja na niseme from another political angle mm. uh, pengine ni njia nyingine ya kumjenga msale mdavadi ama vile vile inaweza kuwa ni njia ya kumuua msale mdavadi kwa kiasi mm. wenda ukao umenijibu uh, swali langu indirect mm lakini nilikuwa natamani kufahamu mm. namna ambavyo Musaleo Mudavad amepata nguvu nyingine mm. ambayo sasa pia umenipa majibu mengine umeniambia hii inawezekana ni kumjenga au kumbomo wa kisiasa yes. tukiingia kwenye yengo ya kumjenga mm. kwenye kumbomo watu wache mm. kwenye yengo ya kumjenga je yeah, mheshimiwa Musaleo Mudavad eh, ujenzi huu ambao umejengwa unamwaffect chote mheshimiwa Ribadi Gachagua uh kabla unajua unapofuata the order kwamba msale mdavadi si mkubwa ama si is not the ahead of regarding gashaga what suddenly happened is the president and the deputy president yeah. they're the ones who decide to be their ministers so as we saw at times constitutionally you know we have uh, been allowed to have 22 uh, nini ministers cabinet mm. secretaries mm. according to the constitution So uh, at times we find that uh, like just what Uhuru did with uh, Ruto mm. they divided the mi- cabinet ministers huh? so Ru- Uhuru brought 11 and uh, Ruto brought 11 mm. so even as at now Msale Mdavadi ye yuko chini ya regarded pamoja na Ruto kwa hivyo Ruto akisema kwamba mimi nataka nichukue docket ya finance ya security na maybe ya health he wants na regardi atasema i want this and this one maybe in there zingine atasema acha tumturushie wa Kenya so as to have the regional balance hiyo inawezekana mm. lakini msale mdavadi yeye sasa kazi yake kubwa ni kusaidia the president and the deputy president to make sure that all the the, 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 the developments that the cabinet secretaries are bringing upon now that they fall under the executive So who is key here is Mursalem David. Ni kama kuwa na monitor kwa plan. Mm. The work ya kiranja kwa darasa ni kusaidia uh, rafiki kati ya mwalimu na wanafunzi wenzake. Sawa sawa. So here Mursalem David is the link mm. 
between the president, the deputy president, and the cabinet secretary. Hmm. So here, when you play playing a link, link to a virus. <laughs> Tihani. Yeah. Kuono kwa mtihani. Na link ikifanya kazi yake vizuri effectively. Ina kwa matokeo mazuri matokeo chanya. Sasa katika kumjenga msale mdavaji. Uh, in docket ya foreign affairs. You know the work of foreign affairs. Mara mingi wa Kenya hawajaelewa kazi ya foreign affairs minister ni gani. You as si kutembea pale nje as many people think. But you as is to implement the programs of our country in a particular foreign country. Maybe Kenya has a relationship with America. What you only do is that you work hard to, 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 to see that the programs of Kenya mm. are being implemented in that South particular South. Uh, in that particular country. Mm. Uh, so, kwa kumjenga msale mdavadi, niseme kwamba kuongezwa hii itanjenga kisiasa, kwamba atanekana ni mtapakazi, mm. which I doubt. Niko na ndugu yangu Emmanuel hapa uh, mambo yake sio mhaba mambo yake ni mazuri kweli kweli anazungumza hivyo na amezungumza mengi kazungumza juu ya hesabu ambazo mheshimiwa rais William Ruto anajaribu kuzitengeneza kuelekea katika uchaguzi wa 2027 kazungumza yale mazungumzo ya bipartisan namna ambavyo yanaendelea kule nguvu kiasi gani watu wanaitumia juu ya kuweza eh, kurekebisha mambo lakini pia amesema uh, uenda kumuongeza nguvu au kumongeza cheo mheshimiwa Musalia Mudavad eh sio tukona tulile foreign affairs ya, ya kwenye upande wa chanya waenda pia kuna negative yake hapo sasa huyu ni mdadis mtaalamu mbobevu masuala haya siasa sasa tutaendelea kuzungumza naye lakini tuko na video ambayo inaonyesha bado eh kule viongozi wa mlima Kenya bado wanamtetea eh au watetea vitisho vya DP Gichago kungolewa madarakani si ndio Tunayo hapa video hii na tutazame live kabisa tukiwa ndani ya Chance Seven News TV East Africa. Tukirejea bado sisi tupo sana hapa paka baadaye baadaye. Karibu sana mtazamaji wa Chance Seven News TV East Africa. Eh vile mmetuona hapa kama viongozi eh wa laikipi ya county nikiwaongoza kama governor wao tukiwa na members of the county assembly na wale viongozi wengine kama senator wetu John Kenywa eh mheshimiwa uh, women rep uh, Jane Kagiri na muheshimiwa Dr. Washira Karani wa laikipi ya West na tena muheshimiwa wa laikipi ya East muheshimiwa uh, Mwagi Kiojori na muheshimiwa na muheshimiwa wetu wa kule laikipi ya North muheshimiwa Sara Lekolele sisi zote tumekaa chini na pamoja na watu wetu wa viongozi wa County Assembly ya laikipi ya na haya maneno yanasemwa mambo ya ya Deputy President a uh, ya kwamba kuna wengine wako na mawazo kuna wabunge wengine wako na mawazo ya kutupeleka e, motion ya impeachment ati wanataka kumuimpish sisi tunataka kuwabia hivi ya kwamba sisi kama viongozi wa Mount Kenya uh, ligadhe muheshimiwa ligadhe gashagwa hakushaguliwa akiwa wa Mount Kenya lakini ako na haki ya vile alifanya kila mtu mkenya anawanjua tunajua kwamba ile kura tulipatiana kutoka kwa Mount Kenya ni tulipatiana kama broke vile watu wengine wa Kenya hakuwa naamini kwamba Mount Kenya inaweza simama na Dr. William Samoi Ruto. Na kwa hivyo wakati sisi kama viongozi wa Mount Kenya tunaona eh, muheshimiwa William eh, muheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa anaigiriwa na kuona ya kwamba ati kuna mambo ya impeachment. Tunataka kuambia hawa waheshimiwa kwamba wanafaa kuheshimu watu wa Mount Kenya wakirega ligadhi wasifikirie ni ligadhi kama binafsi waone ya kwamba ni Mount Kenya na Mount Kenya ilijitokeza na wakaenda wakapiga kura na wakasimama na, ke, na serikali ya Kenya kwanza kwa hivyo sisi tunataka kuwaelezea wa Kenya wote sisi wa viongozi wa Mount Kenya na kama sisi hapa watu wa Laikipia viongozi tunasimama na Dr. William Samoi Ruto na mdogo wake eh, ligadhi gashagwa na kwa hivyo sisi 
sisi ni jeshi yao ya serikali na ni lazima tupiganie na hii serikali kwa sababu wale wanakuja ku impeach eh, uh, Ligathi Gashagua ni kuingilia serikali hakuna Ligathi Gashagua na Dr. William Samoe Ruto hiyo ni serikali moja na sisi tunasimama na yeye na tunasimama na, na rais wetu uh, William Samoe Ruto pamoja na, na dogo yake Ligathi Gashagua na kwa hivyo hiyo maneno ya kwamba tunaomba ya, watu, ya wa Kenya na saidi sana watu watu wa, wa Mount Kenya region tuendelee na kusimama na hiyo serikali ile tulishagua ya Kenya kwanza na hiyo maneno isi tukue inatupatia uh, uoga hata kidogo kwa majina yangu naitwa Muheshimiwa Washuka Deputy Majority Leader wa Laikipi ya County ya Sebre inataka kuongea kinaga ubaga kusema wakati unacheza na Legathi Gashagua unacheza na watu wa Mautikinya sisi kama wamama tulijitokesa na tumejikasa Sisi tunataka kusema wakati unaanza kuingilia serikali ya William Samuel Arapruto ukisema ati ni legathi unalega watu wa Mount Kenya region na sisi hatuta hatutarudi nyuma tuko gagale mwakitaka turudi baka hiyo buga tutaingia sisi kutoka mashinani sisi hatutaki mfurugano uchaguzi ulimaliswa na kasi dio inaendelea na tunataka kusema hivi nyinyi mkuu mrego wenu sisi hatukuingilia nyinyi Legathi ako na jeshi na kwanza jeshi ile kubwa sana ni wakina mama. Sisi tunataka kusema tuko gagare. Sisi tutaenda gama na Josh kwa Irogo wa Laikipia. Tutatabea miguu baka Nairobi na tutaingia hiyo buge. Kalia kiti. Sisi tulipeana kura mchana kinaga ubaga. Kwa hivyo sisi tumesidika kusikia wakati kasi inaendelea watu wengine wanaanza kukata our deputy Ligiji. Kariya kiti, pulo pare tu kwenye mayako. Asante sana. Mimi kwa majina na ito Johnny Geshoke Maina. Na mimi diye leader of majority buge la laikipia. Nataka kuambia wa figozi wenye wanaongea mambo ya impeachment. Nataka kuambia kwamba sisi ni kasi tunafanya na kucheza na ligathi ni kama kucheza na sisi. Kwa hivyo sisi tumejitolea, tutaenda hiyo bunge. Na siyo tafadhali, hiyo bunge tunakuja. Wa MB, wa BIO, wa Endele, na sisi ya tuwasamei hata kidogo. Waachane na Rigathi na waachane na President wetu. Kazi tuwedele kufanya kaya serikali ni ya Kenya kwaza. Na maa hivyo ndivyo ambavyo mambo ya meweza kuendelea siku ya jana halikadhalika na siku zinazo eh, siku zizo pita nyuma. Mambo si shwari sana kwa maana ya ukiona baadhi ya jamii zinaingia katika migogoro e, kisiasa lazima tujue hapa hali si shwari. E, member of the county assembly kutoka kule maeneo ya Laikipia e, lakini vile 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 women rep lakini vile vile senator kwa maeneo yale amezungumza deputy a majority leader lakini pia e, wa maeneo yale amezungumza pia. Kwa hiyo Mount Kenya kwa jumla wao e, viongozi kwa jumla wamejitokeza na kuzungumza na kauli yao kubwa ni kwamba wao walisimama na mheshimiwa rais wa Kenya mheshimiwa William Ruto lakini pia kusimama kwa na mheshimiwa rais vile vile wamesimama pia na mheshimiwa makamu wa rais lakini alikadhalika wamesema wao kama wataendelea kuona kazi zinaendelea alafu mambo yanaingiliwa katikati na baadhi ya watu kwa kutaka kuyaharibu basi wao watafunga mguu kutoka Mount Kenya mpaka Nairobi na wataingia bunge na watazungumza namna ambavyo wanataka kuzungumza lakini wanasema mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua anapaswa kukalia kiti na kuendelea kuchapa kazi ukimgusa mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua umewagusa watu wa Mount Kenya wanasema hivyo ukimgusa mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua makamu rais umewagusa watu wa Mount Kenya lete maneno ndugu yangu bwana ni 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 kweli kwamba pengine anacho kijaribu kufanya mheshimiwa William Ruto kitamrata. <laughs> una unarudi una tena sasa. Kile ambacho mheshimiwa kama ni ukweli. Ehe. Mheshimiwa William Ruto anataka kumtenga mheshimiwa wa Rigathi Gachagua. Ndio. Kitamramba mapema. Ataenda second term. Ataenda second. Ataenda. Mm-hmm. Unajua mbona niseme hivi? Mm. Mlima Kenya wakijua kwamba umeanza kuwatenga ni kama kugusa nyuki. Kwa nini? Watakushambulia vibaya sana. Mhm. Watakapogundua kwa kweli Mheshimiwa Ruto anataka kuwatenga katika kura za 2027. Kwa kumtesa 
Unajua venye mheshimiwa William Ruto aliteswa. Ndio. Na huru Kenyatta na handshake ya Raila Odinga. Mhm. Hivi Raila Odinga akija handshake na William Ruto. The casualties waathirika wakubwa ni mheshimiwa Kalonzo Msioka na mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua. Zaidi atakaye athirika Atirika. zaidi eh. ni mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua. Ndio. Na watu wa mlima Kenya si kama watu wa bonde la Ufa. People from Central you cannot equivalent them with the people from Rift Valley. Mm. Ruta aliangaishwa hapa. Viongozi wa Rift Valley walikuwa wamenyamaza. They were not coming out and bringing actions. They were only calling for media. Wanaita viumbo vya habari wanasema mtuguze kijana wetu. Mtajua sisi ni nini. Lakini watu wa Central utaona si wameanza mapema. Mm. Mapema hata yeah. kabla. Ndio kitu ambacho eh? ndio kitu ambacho nakiona Emmanuel. <laughs> wameanza mapema, mapema kabla hata kabla eh. hata Ruta haja panga hivyo. Mm. Labda iko. Eh. <laughs> you know we are on air already. So it must be Ruto still want to have Central Kenya. Yeah. But they have sense that you want to do what? To uh, to, to, to separate. Eh, na wameanza mapema hivi. Na hapa hao wenye wameanza hawaonekani kwa map ya mlima Kenya. Mm. Asa, what if Moses Kuri amke kesho aanze kusema kuna aongee kichui. Aseme mtu wetu. Eh? Hakuna kugusa mtu wa mlima Kenya. Moses Kuri na Moses eh? Morigath ni same moja. Eh? No, they come from the same region. They are brothers. You know, once we're brothers and blood is thicker than water. Mm-hmm. You cannot come today and call me a good friend. Rigiji tumetembea na yeye. And then next day unianze kunidharau. Useme that you don't need me. Eh? You know they will come again. Now the reason I was saying that um, Ruto kitamramba kura ambayo inatoka mlima Kenya si kura moja, si mbili, si tatu, si milioni moja, si milioni mbili. Eh? Six million votes. Wapige block. <laughs> they realize now you are going you don't want them. By 2027 there will be an increase in the number of voters. This now just estimate zitakuja 6 million registered voters from the central. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure if Ruto will want now to show them that they don't he does not need people from Mount Kenya. Aseme ajigambe eti ame break mlima Kenya. Those guys see ambitious leaders from Mount Kenya. Mm-hmm. I'm happy one of our, uh, our followers ameandika pale. We have the likes of Kimani Chungo, mm-hmm. a very ambitious leader. We have the likes of Ndindi Nyoro. Very ambitious leaders. They are seeing future. Ikuzunguka yao Kenya. Unataka niambia nataka Ndindi Nyoro anataka amalize kwa mbungu. No, you want to aim higher. How do you aim higher when you don't fight for your community? So they will come up to defend the, the, their community, their own regarding each other. Mm. They'll be moving. Kama wameanza hivi sahi mapema. Now what will happen is this. Uh, if for sure Ruto want to bring, our does not want the people of Mlima Kenya. And maybe use uh, <coughs> another route. Venye pengine inaonekana and the analysts wanajaribu kusema. Pengine Ruto ende na ameleta Raila rela tataka ku, ku, kujiosha mikono aseme kwamba na unaweza amend the constitution by amending the constitution ruto anaweza taka ku, kuficha ile betroyo sijiko na nisikiza mtu na kusikiza vizuri sana ataka kuficha ile betroyo mm-hmm. ruto aliteswa na uhuru kenyata pengine hata taka kuonyesha hiyo betroyo kwa rigathi gachagua mm-hmm. atajionyesha in another way atamdanganya rigathi you are my friend wewe ni rafiki yangu ndio wewe tumetoka mbali you are my brother I cannot betray you. Let's fix Raila. In the mind, regarding the other Dani, they are fixing who? Raila Odinga. Mm. And we'll be saying, let them come. Like kumesikia kisema. Wacha wakuje kwa anshi. Mimi sina ubaya. Bora asiguze mtu wa mlima Kenya na mtu wa Rift Valley. Mm. Without knowing when Raila will come. When Raila will come to this government. Regarding the Russian Valley. <laughs> si atakuwa shatumika kusema just ka just come mm. na pengine venye ameonekana kipayuka ameonekana kipayuka na kuongea kwake kusema shareholders ni Kenya ni watu wa mlima Kenya unajua anaposema mlima Kenya and I, I don't see any wrong with him you know when a leader comes and says i'm defending my people from central first before becoming a deputy president at the moment 
Rigadi gachawa ni kama mboni ya mati ya watu wa Mlima Kenya. Who's the more, more second in command? Is Rigadi gachawa. Where does he come from? Central. So he must deliver more to Central than Suba who never maybe voted for them. So in as much we want to say that we have regional, what we want is we want equity. We cannot say we want equality. So for us to get equity, we'll be served according to our numbers. The ones from Central get a higher share. You, Nyinyi Nwachate, get one. So you cannot expect Nyinyi Mpewe Nyingi, Siti Ambao Ni Wengi Tupate Moja, now that sure. you want to, to, to bring uh, this. So, sure. itamukalia vigumu mwishmo William Ruto, the moment atakapotaka kumtenga Rigadi Gachawa, mm. jinsi mianza kuonekana mapema. This Mlima Kenya, oh, na unajua si late, si dakea mwisho, ameanza mapema, one year after election, one mm sasa hapa wataanza kujipanga pole 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 yeah, pole na mimi hapa naona vyanzo vingi sana hapa hapa yeah. unaweza ukazaliwa ufisadi wizi yeah. hapa yeah. eh maana mtu kiongozi akishajua yuko kwenye mamlaka mm. yuko kwenye madaraka fulani mm. alafu anajua unataka kumtikisa maana yeye anaweza akajitengeneza ile territory yake mm. mapema mm. akachukua yale yanayojiri yanayotakiwa kuchukuliwa mapema akatengeneza eh, ngome kwenye kwenye maeneo yake mapema mimi naona hapa kuna kuna namna uh, wakifanya wa hivi watakuwa wanakosea sana kama kutoka kuna unaonekana utofauti mapema hapa mm. manake shida inaweza kawa hata katika uh, mali zile ambazo wanazi wa, 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 wa defense mm. mara nyingi zisichukuliwa na wakora zisichukuliwa na makatele lakini sasa hapa inawezekana kuna mambo yanaweza kafanyika wewe kwa upande wako unaona ni kweli kabisa unajua mheshimiwa Ruta yuko a very tough politician sasa hivi angejaribu kuonekana kumtenga na Edward hapa ange angemweka kwa pani hapa mm. akwambie ndugu yangu acha tuongoze wa Kenya mm. tulitafuta kitu so that Mungu akiwasaidia mm. wapate muola wa pili asalete kuta anze kutawa sababu tamu itakuwa imesha mm. lakini ukianza mapema fast thinking you'll always be a political uh, guru in Kenya mm. a revolution is coming and it will eat you and your children you know that's the badness of revolution Sucks. Revolutions, you may think that you want to kill someone. Mm. They will turn up and kill you, even kill your generation. Now, what will happen is that um, the people from Central will turn on me and I will come out very close and on our right. Mm. The tune has changed. It may change. Awesome. It may change. Ata mm. anaposema mm. itetu kona wewe kiongozi, ni lips. <laughs> lip service ile unasema kwamba hey. I love you but inside you hate that person to death. Mm. So what will be happening here is uh Kenyans especially people from Mount Kenya. You know Ruth is trying to do something that can never happen. Mm. The relationship between the the Ruanians and the, the people from Central we are big. Mm. <coughs> we are big kitambo sana. Mm. When Kukumba kisumu. Mm. President, the president tali yoona taabu kisumu. Ndiyo mo Kenyata. Ndiyo. Huh? So urafiki wa Kenyata as family. Urafiki wa Kenyata as family na urafiki wa Odinga as family. Mm. Uliaribika kitambo sana. Kwa kumanisha kwamba urafiki wa people from Kenya. And the people from lakini tunapoangalia mheshimiwa Ruto ana anatoka katika a maeneo ya ya atoka maeneo ya urafiki wa nifa anasema kwamba urafiki wa Kenyatta family mm. na Odinga family mm. uliharibika kitambo sana ndio na umejaribu kukaa repaired umeshindikana mm. kibaki alijaribu kwa uhuru amejaribu umeshindikana. Kwa hivyo kile umeshindikana sababu hawakumtikia kura. Kwa hivyo kama urafiki wa Kenyatta's family na Odinga's family bado ungeonekana kwamba umerejeshwa. Mm. Angefanya hivyo ama yule ambaye angefanya that way is uhuru Kenyatta the son of Kenyatta. Mm. Angesema no we are family. Let's now put our family issues aside and deliver. Na when you move and say that um, Uhuru Kenyatta really supported Zairodinga mm. and Raila did not become a president. 
do not get food from Mount Kenya region. So meaning they were to get the root of and they they fall under the kind of thing. So the relationship they are not gonna do and match in as a kikawa perfect perfect square. Hey. No one talk about perfect square. Hmm. So, kama itawezekana iwe hivyo, hmm. watasema ama plain nylon, ama river lake nylon. We are people of the same ancestor. Who are we fighting? And then Raila, maybe Raila will want to back up uh, William Ruto. Ruto. Now let's see the people talking. Oh, he has got the enemy here. The enemy here is holding us too. Hmm. Something they did not give him to the ballot for vote. Mother Karua did not deliver. And now they, they, they're bringing him through the unchecked deal. Let me tell you, it will be hard. There are interesting times ahead. Kuna wakati nzuri hapa mbeleni kisiasa. Ambao tunayotarajia. Na pengine labda uendelee kuna kitu. Na baadaye utanipigia hizi hesabu za 2027. Unaona draft linachezwa vipi mpaka kufikia eh nani atakuwa nje ya mchezo na hiyo utanipigia. Badala kiongozi William Ruto adelive is in a campaign mode. Eh. Kwa Kenya wanaumia. Eh. Kenya za safi had economic times. Ndio. We seeing what's happening in the world there was in Israel affecting the, the economy all over the world mm. the president is still in campaign mode this unajua hii ni ubaya power ikikingia kwa kitu uongozi ni mzuri ndio people want to be leaders but the moment you cannot work without leadership uongozi ukikuingia kichwa ingia kwa kichwa ianze kutawala mawazako you want to see yourself always as a leader you don't want to see other people as leaders. Inakuwa mtihani. Now let's see maybe what job uh, Barack Obama mm. did to Joe Biden. He did not humiliate him. Mm. And later after ameshaka kuongoza ali msaidia atakaa president. Mm. But in Kenya and I, we have policy from the soil. Things that can make other politi- uh, other leaders not want to join politics. You know we have other capable people who can become leaders. But because of what they are saying in politics, in Kenyan politics, politics of the soil, today I'm using you, tomorrow you're using me. Today I'm using you, today I'm useful to you, tomorrow I'm not useful to you. Today I'm your friend, tomorrow I'm your enemy. So these are things which maybe will make other professionals, people who found it uh, in corporate world and other business leadership forums, not mm. want to come into politics. Because what Sajua Kwamba Ini Kwaribiana. Sawa, Emmanuel tunazungumza mengi sana na tunazun... tuko na Emmanuel by the way mpaka baada ya dakika kidogo na anajaribu kurandamua randamua kuzungumza kwa kuchambua na kukudadis yale yanayojiri katika siasa ungo ya siasa sasa kipindi hiki tunaona mheshimiwa rais na makamu rais kuna mambo yanaendelea katika taifa letu lakini amezungumza mengi mno Emmanuel na yote aliyozungumza yako na majawabu yake lakini vile vile tumepata kuona viongozi kutoka Mount Kenya kuna namna ambavyo wao wanasema juu ya uongozi hasa kuguswa kwa mheshimiwa Rigathi Rigathi Chagua asitakiwi mtu yote kupita mbele kumgusa makamu rais kwa sababu yapo ambayo yanaendelea eh, na Mount Kenya hususan katika kudumisha na kuendeleza amani ile ya taifa letu Mount Kenya watu wanapambana na kum, uh, kumuunga mkono mheshimiwa rais na kadhalika na kadhalika sasa hii hapa video namuonyesha mwenyewe mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagwa anasisitiza vyema kwamba yapo maelewano kati yake yeye na mheshimiwa rais hakutakuja kuwa na mgawanyiko katika serikali hii na hakutakuwa na huo mgawanyiko katika serikali hii je bado mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagwa yuko na ule moyo sahihi wa kuzungumza haya au anayazungumza tu kwa sababu ya ile inaitwa katafunua kwamba anazungumza kwa sababu yanayoendelea sasa yapo katika joto fulani na yapoza na eh kijiko chenye 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 ubaridi au anazungumza na toka moyoni huyu hapa mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagwa anasisitiza kwamba maelewano baina yake na mheshimiwa rais yako pale pale please don't waste your time there will be no division in this government president william ruto and i talk the same language we consult we agree and we move on and the president is taking us to the right place what we are doing and what I'll continue to do 
is uniting the backyard of President William Ruto in the Mount Kenya region and the Rift Valley. That I'll do. Even if we are speaking separately, we are saying the same thing. Tunasema kitu kimoja. Nasema, wewe raise na mustuni. Utafute huko ile watu walipotea mizio ile yote unaweza lete chukua tafuta tafuta na ukiunganisha Kenya na kwa sababu hao wanalipa kodi uwafanyie kazi. Lakini ngome lako la Mount Kenya na Rift Valley ikuwe inachungwa. Unajua? Mimi nasema acha mimi nitegemea ile iko kwa mko. Si ile iko mustuni rais atafute. Mimi acha nichunge ile iko nyumba. He. He. Munataka nichunge ya nyumbani? Sasa raisa hako huko kisumu. Sasa kama ningekuwa na ye nani ya ngekuja kujunga nyinyi? Munataka tuwache kujunga nyumbani? So mimi niko mulima, Rift Valley. Rift Valley mulima. Wana niingilia, oh huyu ni laivu raisu wa Kenya, bona anaenda Rift Valley, anaenda mulima, anaenda Rift Valley. For the time being, nitaka habo. Wacha raisa sunguke, haende kisumu, haende kisi, haende kakamega, haende kila pahali. Ile atapata anilete, diongese na ile yetu. And you see what is happening is that these Asimio characters and the press, they are blaming me at wa mekatasu wa kuja kwa handshake. Sasa mimi, nyinyi munataka yu handshake? Mimi ni mutu ya kuchukua amri kwa raya. Sasa, wana, wa, sasa raiza kienda huko nyanza, kazi yao tu ni fitina. Oh, huyu deputy president, hataki tukuje. Mi nataka wakuje. Lakini suwa kuja kuchukua na fasi ya watu yangu ya yutifare na ya mlima. I have no problem. Let them come. Kama wameamua kusupport rais, they are welcome. For now, there are certain positions ambaye itakuwa ni ya wale watu. Wali muamini William Ruto. Wali kubaliana na mipango yake ya kubadilisha Kenya. Wali mpigia kura na walionesha mapenzi kwake. Those positions, I continue to insist. Na mimi nasema pia, na fasi ya kazi kipatikana, kwanza tuangalie wale ambaye tunamini na walitupenda na tulikuwa natabea na hao pamoja. Na njini watu ya nande mbuku wabondani. That is my position. That is why these Azimio people have a problem with me, together with the press. They have a problem with me. Because of insisting. Yeah. Unajua, sisi tulipiga kura 2017. Tukakuja, tukatengwa inche. Wale hawa kutupigia kura, wakaingia kwa serikali, wakafanyua kila kitu. Sasa lazima mimi nikiwa pale, ndiyo mutu ya kuangalia hiyo isikuche kufanyika atasiku moja. That is my work. Na mi nafanya kazi yangu. So hata mukini kachifu, hata mukiadika headline, I don't have a problem. And that matter, ya kusema watu walibiga kura waangaliwe is biblical. Bishop is biblical. And what I am saying and what I am asking is within the Bible. Kiangalia Biblia. Wagalatia sita mustari wa kumi. Kwa hivyo basi. Kadili tunavyopata na fasi. Tuatende mema watu wote. Lakini hasa, sana sana, wale ya ima. Eh. Mbibilia, siyo mimi. Siyo mimi. It is not me. It is the Bible. It is the Bible. And let me say. Wana nikachifu mimi. Ya kwamba ni nakumbusha. Rais, ya kwamba hata tukipea na kazi, tukubuke zaidi wale walizimama na sisi. Because, kila mtu sasa nakibia kwa rais kwa sababu ni rais. Siku walikuwa pale, akiwa na shida mingi, hiyo watu walikuwa na ye. Sasa wote wamefika. Ile bidi wako nayo, ya kuingia kwa serikali na kuuliza maneno, Kama hiyo bidi wa getuwekea wakura, tukeshita na kula milioni kumi. But we are saying they are welcome because the president is president of the whole country. But in that government, lazima kuwe na wakili ya kutetea hile watu walipigia William Kura.
wale walimpigia wale walimpenda wale walimuamini na mimi siogei mambo ya maendeleo maendeleo ipeanwa kila pahali Kenya lakini niulize ile kiti ya kumsaidia rais ile natakikana mtu muaminifu anamuelewa anampenda unaweza patia mtu ujui you know many people are still in denial wale ambao walikuwa na mpinga rais they are still in denial they are still looking for a way how this government can have a problem wanaota ndoto wa rais na naibu wake wanaweza kosana sasa mimi na watu ya mlima Kenya uhuru kenyata wa sawa sana wa president alikuwa anatupeleka barabara hiyo tukasema hapana huyu kijana ya sokoi tunamjua tunampenda hakuna haja tukosea ametusaidia ni mchapa kazi hako na maono tukaamua tumchague we mobilized hawa watu hawa magazeti walikuwa nasema mkikuyu hawezi chagua kabila ingine sidi walikuwa nasema and we did they have not given up if something small tumesema wanachukua microscope kuangalia kama iko shida mimi nimesema watu ya mount kenya waungane mimi nilisaidia rais na nilijaribu lakini sikufanya vile ningependa i would have liked to do much better i gave president william ruto from the mountain 87% i lost 13% I am looking for that 13% to give William Ruto in 2027 100%. Sasa nikisema hiyo wanasema there is a problem. Sasa iko shida gani? Hii kutafuta watu wa azimio. Na hiyo watu hako wameenda azimio kwa kupenda ni kulazimishwa. Kushikwa Friday, kufungiwa account, kuhaku haras. Sasa hiyo watu wananitafuta nasema sisi tulikuwa tumetishwa, turudishe nyumbani. Mimi nimesema nimeita hawa ya mlima nimesema I want to bring everybody on board behind president william ruto wameka headline oh labda iko shida kwa nini dp anaunganisha watu wa mount kinya what problem can there be when we are trying to say the 13% to let na ile 87 ikuwe 100 kwa 100 iko shida gani anaitwa makamu wa rais wa taifa la kenya mheshimiwa rigathi gachagua amezungumza kwa kina sana hadi kasoma kipengele fulani cha biblia wa garatia sita mstari wa kumi. <laughs> ameisoma bwana mheshimiwa arigadi kashagwa lakini makubwa ambayo ameyazungumza ni juu ya maendeleo eh? Eh, ya taifa la Kenya uongozi namna ambavyo unaenda namna ambavyo mheshimiwa rais amemwamini kukaa katika kile kiti na kadhalika na kadhalika mambo ni mengi walikweli ya kudiskasi hapa lakini kashfa na mambo ambayo yanaendelea eh, katika taifa la Kenya yeye yeah, anasema hapana yeye yeah, hawezi kuweka macho huko hawezi kutupa eh, macho yake huko kwamba kashfa na headlines zinazoandikwa kwenye magazeti vimo mbalimbali vya habari basi waendelee kufanya kazi yao lakini yeye yeah, yupo pale kwa ajili ya kuchapa kazi kumpa support mheshimiwa rais na, me, na mengine mengi kabisa kwa hiyo hivyo ndivyo ambavyo tunaweza tukazungumza lakini uh, ndugu yangu kuna maneno aliyasema hapa wakati mheshimiwa rais yupo katika hali ngumu hali mbaya eh, support kubwa ilitoka kwa watu wa Mount Kenya anasema hivyo na baadhi ya viongozi wale walifanya kazi kuliko baadhi ya watu walifanya kazi kuliko kweli kumhakikishia mheshimiwa rais anapata lengo ngumu lakini sasa mheshimiwa rais akijaribu kufanya masiara maana yake anakuwa amecheza na 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 na, na, na hisia za wa, za wananchi wengi kwa hivyo ndivyo ambavyo tunaweza tukasema. Niko na Emmanuel hapa mengi tunazungumza. Na kwa sasa ya kusema hii taarifa ambayo anasema visa vya moto migogo na migumu vyaongezeka katika shule za Ganze mtihani wa KCSE ukichungulia. Yaani taarifa anasema visa vya moto vikiongezeka eh migomo pia imeongezeka katika shule za Ganze mtihani wa KCSE eh, ukichungulia. Sasa hii taarifa inasema mwili wa mwanafunzi wa kidato cha pili ambaye aliaga dunia wakati bweni likiteketea katika shule ya upili ya Gugoma mnamo Jumatatu asubuhi unahifadhiwa katika mochuari ya hospitali ya kaunti ya Kilifi lakini kamishna wa Kilifi bwana Josephat Biwoti amethibitisha kwamba mwanafunzi aliangamia kwenye mkasa huo 
ambao umejiri wakati visa vya moto na migumu imeongezeka katika shule za eneo bunge la Ganze katika kipindi cha mwezi mmoja. Lakini taarifa inasema kuwa akizungumza na wanahabari kuna bigoti alisema kuwa kamati ya usalama ya kaunti ya Kilifi imeanzisha uchunguzi wa kutaka kujua sababu ya visa vya ghafla vya wanafunzi kuchoma shule. Lakini pia anasema tunataka kujua kwa nini ghafla tu wanafunzi katika eneo bunge la Ganze wameanza kugoma na kuchoma shule. Hivyo ndivyo ambavyo alisema. Lakini pia aidha aliwaonya walimu wakuu na wazazi kuwa ni hatia kwa wanafunzi kuchoma shule. Mbunge wa Ganze bwana Kenneth Kazungu amesikitika huku akitaka viongozi katika eneo hilo kuungana kukabili changamoto ya miongomo ya migomo ya kila mara katika shule za eneo bunge hilo. Lakini pia tunajitahidi kila mara kuinua hadhi ya kaunti ndogo ya Ganze lakini kila eh, tunapofanya hivyo kitu kinatokea na kurudisha nyuma. Amesema maneno haya bwana eh, Kazungu lakini vile vile taarifa inasema mnamo Jumapili usiku wanafunzi shule upili ya wasichana ya Mwangea waligoma kwenda shule lakini shule nyingine ambako visa vya aina hiyo zimeshuhudiwa ni shule ya wavulana ya Ganze na zile za wasichana za Ganze bandari pamoja na Kachororoni lakini vile vile siku ya kutathmini utayarifu wa watahiniwa wa mtihani wa kitaifa kidato cha 4 KCSE 2023 ni Oktoba 19 huku mtihani wenyewe ukitarajia kuanza Oktoba 23 na 23 mnamo Septemba 2023 mbunge huyo alikosoa wizara ya elimu kwa kuzembea katika kutafuta changamoto zinazokumba shule ambazo zimekuwa chanzo cha migomo lakini mbunge wa eneo hilo aliwataka maafisa katika wizara hiyo eh, kungatuka ikiwa wameshindwa kazi ya kuka, eh, kukagua shule na kudhibiti visa vya moto na migomo kila mara e, kuna baadhi ya maeneo katika taifa letu la Kenya ndugu yangu Emmanuel inaonekana kuna kuwa na migomo ya mara kwa mara hususan katika masuala mazima ya elimu lakini wanafunzi katika shule ya Ganze na kadhalika na kadhalika wameonekana kugumea gumea na mitihani ya kidato cha nne bila shaka inachungulia si ndio eh? eh sasa nini ambacho kinajiri na nini ambacho unaweza kusema hapa kidogo comment kufupi kabla kwenda kutazama video moja ambayo inamuonyesha mheshimiwa fulani ah ah sijaelewa vizuri vipindi hivi mheshimiwa yule anaangaa yuko kwenye makasiriko sasa comment hapo bwana hivi inakuaje hii e, utaratibu wa hizi shule zinagoma goma we unakumbuka kipindi mko shule mlikuwa mnagoma aisa shule za upili pia kugoma kinachokuwa gapale hapo kina kinafanya wanafunzi wa gombe ni nini ni usimamizi pengine wa shule. Oh. Uh, uh, Igoma mwingi ya shule husababishwa na na usimamizi wa shule. Hiyo ndio nilikuwa nataka kuisikia vizuri zaidi. Yeah. Usimamizi wa shule amesema ndugu yangu Emmanuel mm. plus mwalimu mkuu kamtaja hapa. Maana usimamizi pia wa nchi ukiwa unalegalega. Eh wananchi ndio wanagoma. <laughs> eh hey, mwalimu mkuu ndio kiongozi mkuu wa taifa maana uh, rais ukisikia walimu wamegoma eh sikia walimu wamegoma wao eh kuna shida kuna shida kubwa they are the least people to come out and uh, go for like yeah but when you hear that teachers have done a demonstration or maybe paid fees or services are paid by the government then as a nation we are so proud mm hivyo ndivyo baba ndugu yangu Emmanuel anasema iko ile video eh unaweza kuipachika tukazungumza kwa sababu unadhani bila sauti tunaweza tukachambua chambua si ndio eh E, kuna baadhi ya viongozi wakionekana na mheshimiwa wa rais e, live kabisa mambo mengine yakiwa yanaendelea uh, taifa letu la Kenya bana kuna vitimbu ambavyo vinaendelea bila shaka natakiwa tujue namna gani hivi vitimbu tunaweza tukavizungumzia au tukafikia ukomo wa vitimbu hivi lakini niko na ndugu yangu Emmanuel hapa tangu mida ya saa mbili e, na dakika 20 mpaka tatu na dakika 30 na sasa tuko tunaendelea Eh, tunamuona mheshimiwa rais eh, dr william ruto eh, makamu wa rais yuko pale lakini mheshimiwa <laughs> ile jicho mimi ninachanganya sana ile jicho la mfani eh tazama jicho tazama tazama jicho la makamu wa rais <laughs> jicho la mfani ni kasa 
Mheshimiwa Musalemu David yule uh. yuko pale. Huyu um. ni Kimani Shongo, si ndio? Kimani Shongo. Na ndindi huyu? Huyo huyu ni nani? Jamona vizuri. Kuna Mheshimiwa Rais, kuna Mheshimiwa eh, Mudavat lakini eh? na weta. Weta man... ah huyu ni weta ngo. Papa Roma. Huyu ni weta ngo. Lakini yuko Mheshimiwa Kimani Shongo. <laughs> kuna namna ambavyo makabiliano ah, yanaendelea hapa. Very Sasa Kenya za very. Ukiwa fine. kama mchambuzi mdadisi wa mambo. Yeah. E, hapa kinachojiri mheshimiwa e, makamu rais anachungulia hivi kwa jicho la hasira uh-huh. na anaitizama chini hivi kidogo kwa kwa gadhabu kidogo uh-huh. hapa nini hasa kinaendelea uh, na, na hii ni, ni, ni ya muda mrefu the question si muda mrefu haijamaliza haijamaliza the question pale ni kwamba mbona siko katika sekta hiyo wana discuss nini hiki ambacho kinaendelea papa wa roma kuna nipangia nini kimani shungu uje songeke kwenye ni nini hapo <laughs> but uh, honestly there's nothing big, uh, big there mm. uh, those are the uh, political developments mm. hivi ndio media inaanza kazi hivi ndio media inaanza kuwatenga watu i'm 100% sure the deputy president was aware what was going on eh eh e, ukiwa unaendelea kuirudisha ile nataka nikupuliza uh-huh. swali moja kuna uh-huh. kuna siku moja ulizungumza ulisema yalikuwa makubaliano uh-huh. baina ya viongozi wawili sikumbuki vizuri ni akina nani katika uh-huh. uchaguzi uh-huh. eh ulimtaja lakini huyu uh-huh. wa Tangula uh-huh. alikuwa na mwenzie uh-huh. kusema kulikuwa na makubaliano na mheshimiwa uh-huh. rais bwana eh uh-huh. eh wakati wangu mimi nitaoga hapa na pale uh-huh. yenye ikiwa mnakini support nyinyi kuna namna tutafanya hapo uh-huh. yule mwingine alikuwa nani Akwa msale mdavadi. Msale mdavadi. You know campaign period ndio the way okay msale na 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 wetangula. Na wetangula. Ni wamoja. If you get msale mm. you get papa from Roma. Uh, Roma please. Mm. So <laughs> you only come and talk with msale. Mm. And when msale agrees then you get papa mdavadi. <laughs> na na, na kwa tafsiri hii mheshimiwa msale mdavadi na, na mheshimiwa watangu ni wamoja. Yeah. Uh, when you speak of the national assembly. Ni wamoja. They come from the same region. Lakini lakini and, uh, and for your information papa delivered eh. even more than msale. Eh. 99% was yellow in Bungoma. Kwa hiyo hapa namna hapo. So the, 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 the papa is a very Na kama mheshimiwa Musale Mudavadi na Wetangu la wadi wa moja mm. manake mheshimiwa makamu rais lile jicho lilikuwa limepiga pande mbili limempiga mm. Wetangu <laughs> limempiga Musale Mudavadi na uh, Musale you know eh. that eye that eye that you see lile jicho ni kuangalia uone kwamba unajua kile kinaendelea mimi mimi nataka nizungumze kitu kimoja no. lile jicho uh-huh. ndugu yangu Emmanuel lile no. jicho la mheshimiwa uh, makamu rais Rigathi Gachagua unalitafsiri mm. vipi mm. ewe unalitafsiri vipi ni jicho la kusema kwamba wewe dhani mimi ni mtoto don't think I'm a child i'm seeing what's happening but i'm giving <laughs> Anamwambia hivyo nani? Anamwambia rais. <laughs> Anamwambia Ruto kwamba eh. mimi nakuangalia vizuri. Eh. Kwa macho kwa macho. Najua kile ambacho umekifanya. Lakini nakupa mtangazo. Hata ah. kifanyike kwanza. Nakupa mtangazo. Anampa mimi mheshimiwa rais. Aya bwana. Mimi Emmanuel uh, endelea kuzungumza na wewe lakini yako mingine mengi ya, ku, ya kuzungumza. Lakini taifa letu bwana vitimbu vinavyoendelea ni vya kuvi vya kuvitolea macho bila shaka. Iko taarifa inasema kuwa Kenya kupoteza shilingi trilioni 4.2 katika tabia za ushoga zikizimwa. Hii taarifa inasema kuwa Kenya huenda ikapoteza kiasi kikubwa cha pesa iwapo Rais William Ruto ataidhinisha kuwa sheria mswada wa linda jamii unaodhamiri kupiga marufuku makundi ya mashoga na wasagaji LGBTQ nchini eh? lakini ripoti mpya iliyotolewa Jumatatu na shirika la Three Brothers Business Strategies TDS inakadiriwa kuwa Kenya inakabiliwa na tishio la kupoteza kiasi cha shilingi trilioni 4.186 trilioni hizo ambazo ni mswada huo uliowasilishwa na mbunge wa Homa Bay Peter Kaluma utapitishwa kando na afareza kiuchumi wataalamu wameonya kwa 
hatua hiyo itakiuka kifungo cha saba cha sheria ya umoja wa mataifa kuhusu mkataba wa haki za binadamu ulio tiwa saini na Kenya tangu ilipopata uhuru mwaka 1963 taarifa inasema kulingana na profesa Ogola uchumi wa Kenya unategemea pakubwa ufadhili kutoka kwa mataifa ya Magharibi uh, Magharibi yanayosisitiza kuhusu haki za LGBTQ lakini aidha anaonya kuwa hatua ya kupitisha sheria hiyo huenda ikaathiri mvuto wa Kenya kama kituo cha uwekezaji na utalii kwa sasa Kenya hupokea kila mwaka takriban shilingi bilioni 447.46 kutoka kwa Amerika na shilingi bilioni 713.2 kutoka kwa umoja wa Ulaya kufadhili maendeleo ya taifa la Kenya hivyo ndivyo ambavyo taarifa inasema kupitisha sheria kama hiyo huenda kukasababisha kufungiwa nje na wawekezaji wa kigeni hususan kutoka nchi za Amerika umoja wa Ulaya na Uingereza zinapopiga debe haki za LGBTQ katika sera zao ili sema ripoti hiyo kuwa taswira hasi kimataifa kuhusu sheria kama hizo huenda zikazuia wawekezaji wa kigeni na kulema za ukatili e, hali ambayo huenda ikaathiri sekta mbalimbali za kiuchumi taarifa hiyo inadai kuwa hivyo hizo ni habari mbalimbali za kitaifa na tunaendelea na habari za kitaifa pamoja na kimataifa mtazamaji wa Chance of News TV kuendelea kusalia nasi mwanzo mpaka mwisho iko video moja uh, ndugu yangu producer alisema tutaiweka baadaye baadaye eh inayosema kwamba Botuma ni uongo unadanganya Aslas huyu ni governor Sakai alisema hivyo eh, analizungumzia hiyo eh, Rutus Botuma is a lie sasa hii taarifa na hii video eh, nilitamani tuiweke mida kama hii hapa kabla tujenda za kimataifa ili tuweze kuona nini ambacho uh, pia ndugu yangu Emmanuel anaweza comment kuhusiana na maneno yale ya Mheshimiwa Sakaja kwa uhusu bottom up ya Mheshimiwa Rais William Ruto karibu mtazamaji wa Channel 7 News TV wale ambao wako in common sector watu wa wakali wale wa market holders artisans maserimana kenya msikubali kudanganywa juzi nilipenda hesabu nikamwambia watu kuna danganywa wa bottom up hakuna bottom up ukihesabu watu tunakupatia watu pesa kila mtu biashara biashara bottom up hao ni uongo wale ambao wako in common sector watu wa wakali wale wa market holders artisans maserimana kenya mzima ni 20 million ukopatia laki moja moja za trillion itatoka wapi kwa bali ya 3 trillion si ni wao hata kama sisi ni maskini sisi sio wajinga na kama kuna uwezo wa kufanya hiyo mbona unakuja uchaguliwe after 9 years you just be like the poor people hiyo ni kutumia maskini vibaya vibaya wanasema wanataka kuongeza 100 million per constituency then you don't need to become president i mean si bia kwa si mnasema mko na idadi kwa bunge fanya amen na desikia fact muongeze watu sijanganya watu watukiingia kutatua pesa ya bure hatutaki pesa ya bure tunataka tusaidie biashara zetu kwa ile mfumo wa uchumi ambayo ni thabiti kupunguze ushuru kumuumia mafuta yapenda juu gas imepanda tena by 350 shillings serikali inafinya watu kila mahali kila mahali kila mahali eh akina mama hawezi enda saloon vijana hawezi enda katia demo huyo ni gavana wa Nairobi mheshimiwa Sakaja akizungumza eh, live kabisa hapo lakini liko kidogo muda muda na dhumuni la kuweka hii video uh, bila shaka ni kukumbusha namna ambavyo siasa zinabadilika siasa zinabadilika namna ambavyo watu wanaweza kaitafsiri siasa ni tofauti leo hii tunaweza tukona migogoro kwa mheshimiwa rais na makamu wake mfano tu lakini kesho ukaja kukuta mm, mambo yametofautiana kabisa E, kuna taarifa inasema hata Oma Omena imepanda bei lakini vile vile mambo yanakuwa magumu eh? Omena pia imepanda bei. Sasa nikikusomea hii taarifa Emmanuel akitia maneno yake mara matatu tutaenda kimataifa tutagusa kidogo tutamaliza maliza wakati pia umetupa mkono. Kwa hiyo nikusihi tu mtazamaji wa Chance of News TV kuendelea kusalia nasi. Taarifa inasema kuwa gharama ya maisha 
inaendelea kuwalemea wa Kenya wenye mapato ya chini huku wengi sasa eh wakishindwa hata kununua omena hii taarifa inasemaje ndugu yangu manale inasema kuwa eh, samaki hao wadogo ambao kwa muda mrefu wamekuwa wakichukuliwa kuwa chakula cha masikini sasa wamepanda bei karibu mara mbili katika muda wa siku chache zilizopita bei ya omena imepanda ghafla kwa zaidi ya asilimia sabini hii taarifa inasema chakula hicho ambacho ni maarufu hasa miongoni mwa jamii zinazoishi karibu na ziwa Victoria eh, kimekuwa hali kwa familia masikini eh, zisizoweza kununua aina nyingine ya protini kama vile kuku samaki kama mbuta na tilapia pamoja na nyama lakini kwa kawaida omena huuzwa kwa mikebe mikebe wa kilo mbili tofauti tofauti lakini ambapo ndio mkubwa zaidi sasa ameuzwa kwa shilingi 450 kutoka shilingi tatu na wachache eh, wiki chache zilizopita taarifa hii imetujia na inasema kwa ili kutana na wakati eh, kuna wakazi wa maeneo hayo walionungunika ugumu wa maisha huku wengi wakisema wamelazimika kutafuta chakula mbadala anachomudu kununua wanachomudu kununua wananchi lakini taarifa inasema kuwa mkazi wa shauri yako Lensa Akothe ambaye ni mama wa watoto wawili alisema omena ni sehemu ya mlo wake kila wiki lakini kawaida huwa ananunua samaki hao sokoni na kuanda kwa namna tofauti watoto wangu walifurahia kula omena kwa sababu ni e, kibadala cha samaki nilishangaa hata hivyo kupata bei zimeongezeka karibu mara dufu siwezi kumudu bei na kulisha familia yangu jinsi nilivyokuwa nikifanya hivyo awali hivyo ndio alisemama neno hayo mama huyo lakini mjini Homa Bay watu hutumia kiasi cha hadi shilingi mia kununua vyakula venye vi, uh, vi, kwenye vioski bei inayoweza kununua vyakula kama chapati na maharage au chips kwa wapenzi wa ugali hata hivyo bei hiyo inawezekana uh, imewezeshwa uh, kupakuliwa bakuli la omena ila kwa sasa kiasi cha omena kinachopakuliwa kimekuwa kikipungua katika muda wa siku chache zilizopita mbili ikiwa kibanda cha chakula bikainta atieno alelezea kwamba hapati tena faida aliyokuwa akipata kabla ya bei za omena kupanda juu hii ni taarifa ambayo mwishoni inamaliza idadi ya bidhaa zilizopatana uh, uh, na ya wateja bei hupanda watu wengi wanapendelea kula omena kwa sababu ni ya bei ya chini lakini vile vile kulingana na afisa huyo shughuli ya uwekezaji na uvuvi kwenye ziwa hilo e, vile vile zimeongezeka kadri miaka inavyosonga na anasema watu wengi wanajiunga na biashara ya kuvua samaki pamoja na omena hata hivyo hakuna anayejishughulisha kuhusu kulinda ziwa hilo ili kuhakikisha idadi ya samaki inaongezeka hii ni taarifa ambayo inapatikana katika gazeti la taifa leo lakini tunazo taarifa zingine e, kadha wa kadha za kimataifa na haraka haraka tukiwa tunaelekea mwishoni mwishoni tukisoma taarifa hizi tunakuja na hii taarifa ambayo inasema mzozo wa Israeli na Palestina kuli kilichojiri sasa saa chache zilizopita huko Israeli na Gaza ni mtihani tupu hii ni moja kwa moja kutoka kule Israel taarifa inasema mashambulio ya kulipiza kisasi ya Israeli yameendelea usiku kucha na haya ndio uh, tumekuwa tukiripoti kutoka uh, katika saa chache zilizopita kwanza makumi ya ndege za vita za kijeshi la Angla Israel zimeshambulia zaidi ya shabaha mbili katika kitongoji cha Al Furqan huko Gaza kinachoaminika kuwa kitovu ambacho hamasa kupanda na kutekeleza mashambulizi yao lakini taarifa nyingine sema idadi ya jumla ya waliofariki imepanda hadi watu 2200 huku idadi ya vifo nchini Israel ikiongezeka hadi watu 1200 huku maafisa wa Gaza wakisema watu 900 wamefariki kidunia. Tumekuwa tukisikitika kutoka kwa walionusurika katika maeneo ya Gaza na Israel ambapo wanaelezea ukubwa wa uharibifu kama jambo ambalo hawajawahi kukumbana nalo katika miongo kadhaa ya migogoro kati ya pande zote mbili lakini pia taarifa nyingine inasema nchini Israel watu wameelezea shambulizi la Hamasa kuwa ni mauaji ya raia huko Gaza mfanyakazi wa kibinadamu 
aliambia kipindi cha news hour cha BBC kwamba hakuna mahali popote salama kwa watu kwenda lakini rais wa Marekani Joe Biden amelala amelaani taarifa inasema rais wa Marekani Joe Biden amelaani uvumizi wa Hamas dhidi ya Israel kama uovu mtupu Marekani inaongeza msaada wa kijeshi kwa Israel ndege ya kwanza iliyokuwa uh, imebeba silaha za Marekani iwasili kusini mwa Israel na Jumanne iliyopita hiyo ndege hiyo imeweza kusiri Joseph Borrell Joseph Borrell mwakilishi mkuu wa EU katika mambo ya nje alisema mwisho uh, mwitikio wa Israel huko Gaza unaweza kuwa uh, umekiuka sheria za kimataifa taarifa nyingine inasema Marekani inasema inajadiliana na Israel na Misri kuhusu kujaribu kupata njia salama kwa raia wa Gaza. Mshauri wa usalama wa taifa la Marekani Jack Sullivan anasema pande zote zingezingatia swala hili lakini hakufichua maelekezo zaidi hapo. Hiyo ni taarifa ambayo inatoka kule Israel lakini mengi ambayo yanaendelea kule uh, uh, ni shida tupo maana vita inaendelea watu wanafariki dunia watu wanapoteza makazi yao na kadhalika na kadhalika mzozo wa Israel na Palestina Israel yajibu mashambulizi ya Syria kwa mizinga ya jeshi jeshi la Israel limesema limejibu kwa mizinga baada ya makombora kurushwa kwenye eneo la Golani Heights eneo ambalo Israel inakaria kwa mababu tangu mwaka 1967 askari wanajibu kwa mizinga na makombora kuelekea eneo lipotokea shambulio hilo nchini Syria alisema hivyo taarifa na hiyo ni ya jeshi la Israel jeshi linaandaa na linadai kumekuwa na idadi ya mashambulizi kutoka Syria ndani ya eneo la Israel msemaji wa jeshi ameambia shirika la habari la AFP kuwa anaonekana kuwa ni moto wa choka mbaya hii ilikuwa mara ya kwanza kurushiana risasi kati ya Israel na Syria tangu Hamas ilipoanzisha mashambulizi dhidi ya Israel kutoka ukanda wa Gaza uliozingirwa siku ya Jumamosi siku ya Jumanne Israel pia ilirushiana risasi na wanamgambo wa kusini mwa Lebanon hii ni taarifa ambayo eh, inafikia hapo tamati za kimataifa lakini kidogo tu kwa machache tu ndugu yangu Emmanuel nilikuwa naye hapa tangu mendelea saa mbili aweze kuzungumza kidogo juu ya mizozo hii inayoendelea kimataifa hususan Israel na Palestina wanapokuwa nazozana wanapokuwa wanapita kipindi hiki kigumu ni shida kwa nchi ni shida kwa raia ni shida kwa mali za na shida pia katika mataifa haya kurudi nyuma kimaendeleo hususan majengo marefu marefu tena bomu leo yanaharibiwa na mabomu lakini vile vile amani katika mataifa yao yanapelekea uchumi kudorola umaskini kuongezeka Emmanuel eh, haya mambo yanaendelea Palestina na Israel mm. upande wa kwewe nini tamko lako kio kama unabobea uh, kama bobezi katika masuala ya uh, kisiasa lakini pia hii athari inaweza ika affect vipi nchi zetu za Afrika hususan tukio tunaingia katika masuala mazima ya migomo migogoro na kadhalika na kadhalika tujifunze nini mm, there was and rumors to go there kuhusu na tukio la vita hivi yale uh, ambayo yanaendelea Israel na Palestine nataka kusema askari wetu elfu moja pale haiti <laughs> as a nation so basically i'm not good in analyzing wars but what i know peace is expected mm. if uh, something can be done to have peace my leader suggests to the different states uh, aside uh, the human rights activists it's now your time to come up We don't want to have that peace. People in 21st century who know the dangers of the earth and the sea, but is when we want to have more fights and more wars. I don't know what be happening, but peace, peace is wonderful. Peace is what we need as uh, Kenyans, as we need the people here on earth. But really, it is wonderful at this time. We have consequences of peace. Mass destruction of property, the currency the insecurity mass loss of life many other things we, we want to pray that the Islamic state find peace but they're only fighting over just the needs in which Gaza had a lot but I will go and do more research 
yebo mm. yeah. sana lakini nikikuleta katika michezo na burudani hapa nyumbani ndugu yangu Emmanuel mambo ni mazuri kiasi mambo sio mazuri sana kwa ndugu zetu sofa paka eh, sofa paka bwana katika michezo yao kadhaa wameweza kupata tu sale mchezo mmoja mchezo sita wamepata sale mchezo mmoja tu wana alama moja na wameshika mkia kabisa chini kule <laughs> lakini vile vile nitaka nijue kidogo maoni yako kutoka kwa AFC leo pale AFC leo pale unaonaje Emmanuel mbona na wao wanatia aibu sababu hii ni timu kubwa ambayo pia ilikuwa ni dadi wakutana Gor Mahia tunaona mambo yanawaka lakini AFC Leopard sasa tunaona eh na wao wanashikilize ndio mechi kati ya FC Leopard mm. na Shaban eh si derby ah sasa wewe unataka kunia Shaban kajalini kwenye ligi bwana eh si Leopard na Shaban hiyo ni derby Shaban kajalini kwenye ligi Shaban timu kubwa inatwanga Tusker Shaban kwenye ligi ya Shaban ngoja tu wanaweza shangaza wengi watu ni kweli piga za Gor Mahia unachokiongea ni kweli what i'm saying uh, you that in kenyan senior league team there's a problem in leadership and governance of it eh kuna tatizo hivi hivi shabana ni kukatisha kidogo shabana kapanda pamoja na muranga au na muranga si muranga anaye kapanda muranga yuko nafasi ya tatu juu kule kileleni kabisa na alama 12 hmm. eh lakini shabana pia naye anajitahidi anajikongoja yuko nafasi ya 13 hmm. mwenzake muranga yuko nafasi ya tatu na alama 13 yeye yuko nafasi ya 13 na alama sita mkononi kwa maana amesale michezo michezo mitatu na ameshinda michezo moja eh hey, by the way anajitahidi anajitahidi shabana na uh, uh, ni sema tu vile kwamba timu zinapokuja katika KPL mm. zinapata changamoto za za management of the senior league ndio corruption mm. uh, threats you saw the other day bank threatening uh, task FC uh, Robert Matan mm. wanting to beat a coach now that they've lost to shabana Yeah. So the problem with the FC of us is that they have political differences in the leadership of the team. Yeah. And we, when now we find that there is a political differences in anything that we do in any part of the world. That thing will be hindered with many challenges na itakuwa ni ngumu kuikomba kwa hiyo. Sawa sawa. Siku ya Jumatatu uh, Mosi kutakuwa na mchezo kati ya Talanta dhidi ya Post Rangers lakini Sofa Paka watawa police KCB watacheza na Ulinzi Stars, Bericot United watacheza na Muranga, Asil na Tusk watacheza na Gor Mahia. Lakini siku ya Jumapili Nzoia Shuga watacheza na Kakamega Home Boys, Bandari atacheza na FC Leopard, Shabana atacheza na City Stars. Bwana hiki hapo tufanye tukiangalia. Mhm. Fanya tukiangalia uwanja. City Stars Shabana na Shabana na City Stars. Atacheza lini? Jumapili, Jumapili. Jumapili. Eh. Fine. Kama tutapata nafasi. Tawaletea matangazo live Mbashara. Yeah, Unataka tukaangalia au tukaenda kurusha matangazo kule kule? Tarusha hapo matangazo. Sawa. Haya uh-huh. Shabana na City Stars Jumapili lakini Kario Bang Sharks wanacheza na Muhuruni Youth siku hiyo hiyo ya Jumapili. Kwa hiyo hivyo ndivyo ambavyo eh na kuelezea mtazamaji lakini kimataifa mshambuliaji wa zamani wa Chelsea na Real Madrid Eden Hazard ametangaza kustara eh, kutoka eh, soka akiwa na umri wa miaka 30 na mbili. Huyu ni mshambuliaji eh, kongwe lakini pia mtaalamu mbobevu ni masuala ya soka. Hazard alishinda mataji mawili ya Premier League huko Stamford Bridge kabla ya kuhama Real Madrid kwa mia Real Madrid mwaka 2019 lakini Mbelgiji huyo alikabiliwa na majeraha na alicheza mechi sabina sita pekee ndani ya misimu minne akiwa Real Madrid na kuondoka msimu wa joto kabla ya kuondoka msimu wa joto eh, lazima ujisikie na usimame kwa wakati unaofaa alisema hivyo inaliandika kwenye ukurasa wake wa Instagram Nyota wa Benfica Joe Neyros yuko kwenye eh, rada za Manchester United hivi majuzi alisaini mkataba mpya na klabu hiyo ambao utaendelea hadi 2028 na ana kipengele cha kutolewa cha faini na cha kutolewa cha euro milioni 103 ni sana katika hivyo lakini Manchester United itajaribu kumuondoa Jadon Sancho mnamo Januari ikiwa mshambuliaji huyo wa Uingereza ataendelea kukataa kumuomba msamaha Eric Ten Hag uh, Ten Hag hiyo uh, taarifa pia imesema hivyo uh, lakini mheshimiwa uh, tena Gareth Bale anatumai Wales itapewa nafasi ya kuandaa mchezo wa ufunguzi wa Euro 2028 baada ya Uingereza na Ireland kutangazwa kuwa wenyeji wa michuano hiyo lakini vile vile Wales uh, 
inajitayarisha kuandaa mchuano huo mkubwa wa mara kwa mara ya kwanza kufuatia uthibitisho wa UEFA siku ya Jumanne lakini inafahamika kuwa uwanja wa principality wa Cardiff eh, unapangwa una kama uwanja wa mechi ya kwanza ya Euro 2028 kama raia wa Wales ningependa Cardiff iwe mwenyeji wa mechi ya ufunguzi alisema hivyo nahodha wa zamani wa Wales Gray Tumbale lakini vile vile eh, shirikisho la soka la Ulaya UEFA limeachana lime na mpango wa kuzirejesha timu za under 17 za Urusi katika michuano ya Ulaya kwa vijana mwakani mwezi uliopita uh, bodi inayoongoza ya kandanda ya Ulaya ilitangaza kuwa inachunguza jinsi ya kujumuisha tena timu ya vijana ya Urusi katika michuano ya kimataifa baada ya kuzisimamisha eh, kuzi timu zote za Urusi kushiriki mashirindano ya UEFA kufuatia uvamizi kamili wa Ukraine mnamo Februari 2022 sasa shirika hilo eh, linasema kuwa kutafuta njia eh, ya kujumuisha tena upande wa under 17 wa Urusi kumeonekana kuwa ngumu sana kiufundi hiyo ni taarifa ambayo inapatikana katika uh, mitandao ya kijamii na taarifa hiyo inaweza ikawa ni mwisho kabisa katika eh, breakfast show ya asubuhi ya leo na hivyo ndivyo ambavyo tunaweza tukasema lakini iko na Emmanuel labda kama na moja la mwisho au kama na ya mwisho kabisa kuzungumza na mtazamaji wetu karibu Emmanuel um nasema tu kwamba one piece tuzidi kuombea na mataifa ambayo yanaendelea <coughs> na vita yeah, it's very uh, bad to have a mass loss of lives and lives we can't give out lives wezi tena almighty so so kwa hivyo tuweze kuchunga yale ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu amechukua mm. wacha na mambo ya vita silaha la kuoana na vingine tusifanye hayo Ah hivyo ndivyo ambavyo amezungumza ndugu yangu Emmanuel na tuko na mengi ambayo yanaendelea kimataifa tuko na mengi yanaendelea Israel pamoja na Palestina Ukraine pamoja na Russia ndio Emmanuel anajaribu kusema tunahitaji peace tunahitaji amani tuziwachochezi katika masuala haya lakini vile vile tuzidi kuomba Mungu mambo yakae sawa kabisa na huyo Emmanuel anapatikana kama Emmanuel Bosire kwenye platform zake ya kama Emmanuel Bosire lakini vile vile Eugene anapatikana kama vibes with underscore gini kwenye platform zake. Muna Shwai unanipata hivyo Facebook, muna.shwai unanipata hivyo TikTok na Shwai underscore tz unanipata hivyo Instagram. Lakini Channel 7 News TV East Africa unatupata hivyo eh, kupitia ukurasa wa YouTube wa Channel 7 News TV East Africa. Lakini vile vile Channel 7 News TV East Africa unatupata hivyo Facebook pamoja na Instagram, TikTok hali kadhalika ni Channel 7 News TV East Africa. Bila kusahau tunapatikana kama Kenya News Alert TV kwenye ukurasa wa YouTube na unaweza kutafuta kama Kenya News Alert TV kwenye ukurasa wa YouTube mambo yakawa mazuri zaidi na zaidi iko hapa na Emmanuel tangu mida ile ya saa mbili na dakika ishirini masa Afrika Mashariki mpaka sasa nne na dakika saba masa Afrika Mashariki tuna sign out bye bye asante na kwa heri love for all hatred for now